Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel. This is going to be your weekly love reading. Something's going on with your third eye, okay? It's opening up. Um, so like you may be receiving a download. You can see there's a third, you know, this eye, third eye is illuminated here, which is your sixth chakra. And then we have observer. It's like, it's. I feel like it's opening up because then we have the thinker energy. Man, uh, you're receiving some form of download. Um, hmm, sort of something like a fairy, huh? Are you something sort of like a fairy? Or is your intuition getting stronger here? You see something. Some of you guys are clairvoyant. Yeah, very clairvoyant. Um, some of you all can be clear sentient, right? Clear audience. But definitely I'm talking to a, a divine feminine who is clairvoyant. You may have dreams. You may, you know, foresee things. Have a very strong intuition here. Door to personal healing and happiness, which is the number 34. So now we have 44, 44 here. So this is good. You're in the process of doing some form of healing. And like I said earlier, with that energy of Victoria Monet, stop asking me for shit. Um, you literally are just like, don't ask me for nothing else. Um, <laughs> it's all about me. 2024 is all about me healing, right? Your happiness, right? My happiness is not about anybody else's. I'm ready to step outside of this home. Some of you guys um, have been mothers, you know, um, working from home or spending a lot of time at home because that's where most of your obligation is. If you don't have children and you're not taking care of children, maybe you do work from home. I don't know. But this is you, the energy of you being adventurous. You're ready to step outside and go explore the world and do something, you know, and have a good time while you do it, too, you know, because I see rainbows, butterflies. I see a dove. You're 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 you are looking in search of your peace. You're in search of your peace and your happiness. Yeah, your your personal healing and happiness to be exact. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. What else here do we have for the um, divine feminine? Yeah. You're letting go of old. You're inviting in the new. You're you're trying to find some form of balance. And I do feel like you, ha you have a lot of responsibilities and a lot of people count on you. Or you're just feeling overwhelmed because you're juggling too many things at once. Doing too many things. And, and spirit is just saying here it's time for you to find time for yourself but i feel like this is energy you're actually already in you know some of you guys could be reorganizing your home or or just creating some form of space for yourself or you need to you know create a, a small um safe space where you can go sit down and think and have you some peace and quiet read a book you know, whatever that is, you know, I feel like you guys have been having some difficulty overcoming obstacles, but the thing is you're going to gain your strength back. And this is a temporary thing right now. Okay. You're, it's temporary. I promise. Yep. Energy activation. Yeah. Your, 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 uh, third eye chakra is activated. You might not even know it. You may be having headaches. You, you may be feeling sleepy, tired, lethargic, like barely any energy here. You want to stay home, but now it's like, okay, even you just come out of it and now you're, you're coming out of your shell or you're owning that energy and understanding it. You know exactly what it is. For some of you guys, you have a direct connection to the divine and, and a lot of you guys connect through the divine just by praying. Just by just by praying, a lot of you guys, you meditate, you connect through dream state, meditation or prayer. You've been doing a lot of thinking and you're ready to come outside of fear. You're you're ready to chase your own happiness right now. You know what I mean? But it, it's it's this is good. I feel like you guys were in the energy of you were afraid of failing. And you wasted a lot of time on thinking very negatively. And I feel like you're about to get out of that. Okay. If you haven't made it to the point where you are ready to jump out of fear, 
you will you come out of that energy or spirit is telling you that you know some of y'all you you yeah <laughs> you guys are setting boundaries with people you you're setting boundaries with people who are asking for too much whether it be kids, whether it be love, whether it be your job, you're put, you're starting to put yourself first. Now, I'm just going to say this. Some of y'all who are single, there needs to be a balance in between knowing when to put your guard down and, and when to be have fun and when not to be so serious, okay? And just just know when to let your walls down and, and when, when to put them up, right? Have some balance. We ha just work a little bit more at having that balance is all I'm saying, y'all, okay? That's that's all. You're, I think you're actually in the process of learning this, though. Yeah. Ooh, some of y'all set, set boundaries with a twin flame. Some of y'all set boundaries with a twin flame. Some of y'all could have thought your twin flame was your real twin flame, and you're, real, you're feeling like they're not your twin flame anymore, or you're just done with this person. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I don't know why that came out. We weren't even talking about love, but ooh, divine counterpart. Yeah. You listen, you are tapping into your highest self. You're breaking patterns. This is good. You're questioning your routines and your patterns, things that you allowed in the past. You're putting your foot down. Stop asking me for shit energy. You know what I mean? You're overcoming obstacles. You're learning how to step outside of fear or this is where you're headed, right? And you, I feel like you're about to be celebrating um, something good. Like, you know, whatever it is that you work hard at, especially with setting boundaries and and feeling overworked over like just busy all the day long time or somebody's always asking you to do something or you could be volunteering some of y'all are volunteering to do it stop volunteering somebody else could do it it's called delegation delegate 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 you have a divine counterpart coming in here yeah you got a divine counterpart coming in let's let me see what this is about Ooh, three of cups. That is energy of celebration. This is good. Listen, I feel like you have new love coming in because in this three of cups energy here, there's a divine feminine. I feel like this is you. There's a divine feminine holding up one cup, right? She's holding this one cup up and she's in awe. It's like, yep, this is the one, y'all. This It's like the Lion King when... um. Uh, what's his name? Simba holds up. Uh, what's y'all don't? I'm old. I don't remember. I ain't seen it in a long time. We hold up his son, and he'd be like, oh, baby, y'all, here we are. You know what I'm saying, y'all? That's what this is. <laughs> she, she is holding it up. And then there's two. What's so crazy is there's two cups at the bottom. So it's like, yeah, this is your divine counterpart. You're about to meet them. Show me what's going on for a divine city and what else? I want to know. I want to know. Divine feminine, please show me what's coming towards my divine feminine. Ooh, what? Oh, somebody in regret. Somebody in regret. They want to say sorry. This somebody different. This could probably be that twin. This is somebody from, for some of y'all, it don't have to be the twin, but this is somebody from the past that want to say I'm sorry. <laughs> See, th th this is somebody that knows they messed up, right? See, these cups are spilled. There's still two in the back here, and that's the Knight of Cups. Knight in Shining Armor wants to come and bring a cup to you, a cup of love. Oh, boy. All right, they want to heal the situation, bring balance back into the, to the situation. Um, you know, they're hoping that you're going to have some form of patience with them. They hope that they can heal this. You could be dealing with the Sag. They're ready to pour into your cup. They're ready to pour into your cup, and they feel abandoned. They're hurt. They're sick. Five of Pentacles. This person has their hand on their head like, oh, my gosh, what have I done? So we have two fives here. Somebody is realizing what they did. You see this lamp? It's like this person had this lamp and they sat it down and they had a, like, oh my goodness. They're feeling very overwhelmed with emotion here. 
with this Five of Pentacles. Four of Wands. That's your twin. Yeah, that's your twin. So here goes that twin. That they really want your twin really wants to talk to you because they've taken over this reading. This twin wants to heal something with you. They feel abandoned. They're they just they're going through it. They sh they are stressed. They want to reunite. They feel like the two of you should be dancing like these two people in this picture. Happy, you know, celebrating. They want to celebrate with you. You know what's so funny, though? In this Five of Cups, there's a bridge. I'm here. Bridge over troubled waters. There's a bridge here. This person is focusing on what was spilled what no longer what is or was instead they could just like take those two cups that are still here and walk across that bridge and keep it moving but this person is incapacitated and and, and focused on the wrong thing i feel like show me what else for divine feminine please so just be aware i don't know why we're talking yeah this person is in their feelings king of cups cancer pisces scorpio energy King of Cups is here. Somebody, I'm telling you, is very emotional. Very emotional. Six of Cups is here. All they do is think about you. All they do is think about you. Man. They, this person may be a little upset with you. They, I feel like they're upset. With, they better be upset with themselves. Because why else would you have to set boundaries with them? The lover's card. Yeah, they're upset because you ended it. This person just can't. The, 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 the world card is here. Yeah. You could be dealing with a fixed sign, a Leo, a Capricorn, a Taurus, or an Aquarius here. I, I, yeah. <sighs> I feel like the two of you communicated quite well, too. You and your twin actually communicated quite well, and there was a lot of passion between the two of you guys. A lot of strong passion here. Yeah, the moon. I'm telling you, Cancer Energy, this person is super duper emotional here. This person is super emotional. That's crazy. This person is wearing a mask right now. They're wearing a mask right now. Hmm. Ten of Pentacles. This person really like the Ten of Pentacles is here and the Four of Wands is here. Somebody could have been married, is married, um, or this person really wants to marry you. They they may want to marry you. I got food on my Sorry, y'all. I'm like, is that food? I have food on my face. Ten of Pentacles, this person, yeah. Mm. Okay, well, what, what, why, did, why did the Divine Feminist have to set boundaries with this twin flame? Because there's a reason. Because it was time for you to. You, you outgrew them. You ascended and they weren't ready to heal. You healed. You did the work. You 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 were ready for growth and expansion and you were ready to move on. That's just what it is. You're ready, you're ready for what you're ready, what's meant for you. Three of Wands. Three of Wands, you're ready what's meant for you. Just period. Yeah. You're you're you have a you're ready to manifest your personal healing and your personal happiness here, cause yeah, why did why did divine feminine have to set boundaries with this plan? The star, exactly, cause you healed, you healed, yes, and you manifested what you don't know, divine feminine, is you manifested your heart's desires, your dreams, like right? whatever this is, is growth. It's three of wands energy. And it's coming. It's coming, you guys. Is I love this energy. And you know what? You're sitting on your throne now. She said, you what do you see the star in it? I'm sorry, this might be the Empress.
My bad. This is the Empress. I'm tripping. I've never seen this card in this deck. I've only used this deck one time, maybe two. So, but this is giving star energy. It ain't giving star energy, but this is really the Empress. You turned your back on the situation and you outgrew it. You just did. You are seeing that she's holding her harvest in her hand, which is like a piece of wheat. Okay, you're sitting on your throne is the point, though, Divine Feminine. You know your worth. You may not have realized it, obviously, in the past. So that's why you set boundaries with this person. Three of Pentacles. Show me one. Some of y'all, they could have put you in a third party because we got the Three of Wands and the Three of Pentacles here, too. <clears throat> the Death card. And that one could have been why you ended it. Okay. For some of y'all. this Some of y'all could be dealing. I just split the deck and I see the King of Pentacles and the Fool card here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy and Aries energy. You could be dealing with one or the other. This King of Pentacles wants to come towards you. They want a new beginning with you here. They're willing to take a leap of faith. I mean, the Four of Wands is here with the Ten of Pentacles, by the way. I don't know how much time y'all want me to spend talking about this. Um, the Four of Pentacles is on the other, other side of the deck here. This person is thinking about you. They're still holding on to you. There's, you, you, there are moon and stars on this person's cape. You are somebody's moon and stars. Like... Maybe this person looks up in the stars in the sky and they think about you. All right, let's move on. Well, here, let me see what the twin wants to say, y'all. Hold on. What does this twin want to say to the divine feminine, please? Yeah, somebody here has mother wounds, you guys. So someone's mother could have, could have abandoned them. I mean, I don't know what the situation was, but their mother was a big influence on their behavior and 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 how they behave as an adult now has some a lot to do with the challenges and the connection that they have with their mother. It, the, it wasn't healthy, you know, and that's why they have a problem with connecting with you and because they haven't healed that situation. I see you by Coco Jones is playing right now. Mm -hmm. now this person is jealous if they think you they know that you um, are in this empress star energy and they're jealous and they can't stand it if you're not with them they think you're with somebody else or the thought of you being with anybody else just really upsets them and angers you it says it must be written in the stars because you are definitely in my destiny we belong together Mm -hmm. I told you they feel like you're their moon and their stars, and when they look up in the in the in space, or look, they're staring at stars, thinking about you. Yeah, you're my favorite person. You're the person I want to call when something good or bad happens. The first thought when I have news to share, you're my person. You're the person that they want to share good news with, bad news with, laugh with, joke with, have fun with, like. Remember, this is that having fun, joking, celebration, energy. This is what they want to do with you. Jeez, this person is so jealous. They said you're mine. I get so, I did not just say this because this is the bottom of the deck right here. You're mine. This says, I get so pissed knowing other people can have you now. Is it toxic? Yes, I don't care. I want the world to know you're mine. Well, the thing is, if they want the world to know you're theirs with this world card and this moon, they're not telling nobody. Have they told told you that? Maybe they, I don't know, some of y'all might have them blocked. I don't know. Mm. <sighs> what are the blockages here for this connection between the divine feminine and, and, the, and the twin? What are the blockages? Yeah, I feel like Divine Feminine, I'm just going to say this to you, but I feel like a lot of you all know this already. You gave too much. Remember the first song I said, stop asking for shit? Literally, I feel like you guys give, 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 you're over givers, and you just volunteer stuff, did things for people, and particularly maybe even this Twin Flame, they didn't even deserve. They may not have even returned the favor to you or given 
excuse me, giving to you as equally, right? You gave too much. And, and it's time for you to be balanced when you're giving. You know, people say keep that same energy, divine feminine. Keep keep that same energy. Giving too much. It's 2024 is the year of you. So I'm divine feminine. I, I love y'all. I hate to trigger you. But I, that, that, that message was specifically for you. Comparison. So some of y'all are comparing other people's love lives or what other people have or what other position somebody else is in and leave the past behind and see, see, or I really strong, like, I strongly feel like divine feminine that you um, compare a lot of, have compared a lot of people to your twin and you may feel like for some of y'all, I'm just saying, cause the energy is here that nobody measures up to your twin. And nobody will. I get it. It don't mean that you're supposed to be with them, though. Because Spirit is saying, you you need, when, when this new love comes in, because there is new love here, you got to have to see the person for who they are and not compare them to your twin. You know, and they're not going to be anything like your twin because you, you've you ascended, you've grown, so you're going to attract whatever whoever this new person is that you're attracting. They're going to be totally different. It's not going to be toxic. You may not even know what to do with it because you're not used to it. I feel like it's going to be very refreshing, you know, but kind of awkward because you're like, what? What's this? This feels good. Hmm. I don't know if I want it. <laughs> Too attached. Some of y'all are attached. You're, you're still attached. Also, too, when you do meet somebody new, make sure that you're, you know, there's a balance. You don't give too much. You don't be, you know, overbearing or too attached. You know, don't don't be that partner that's like, hey, what you doing? You want to go do this? You want to go do that? Now, if that's the energy they're bringing to the table and you want to do it, it's, that's different, right? That is totally different. All right, let's see. What else do we have here? You know, this, um, this, oh, hold on, y'all, hold on, show me more here for the last thing here. Oh, man. Divine Feminine, um, hmm, hold on a second. This twin feels like it's too late between the two of you. If they feel like they're just too late, they're on a downward spiral and they feel like their life is in straight chaos right now. They're having some form of ego death and, um, you know, they're going through some form of legal matters right now. Somebody could be like a be a delivery driver or an Uber driver, whatever it is. Somebody's doing something on the side to pick up some extra money, and I feel like that could be because of some form of legal matter. Could be a divorce. It could be uh, child support. It could be a traffic ticket. Like I don't know what this is. It could be something criminal. Maybe somebody has court costs to pay. I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna show you this energy here. So this person feels like. They're too sidetracked right now to even um, maybe come towards you. They want to handle this situation first. And they know it's going to be too late by the time they get this situation handled and squared away and taken care of. It's going to be too late. This, so now this person is coping with drugs. They've been drinking because they ain't gotten themselves in a situation that is so hard to get out of. Uh-oh, what was that? Somebody's birthday could be in April. Because this clock is on April. Um, let's see, 17. Somebody's birthday could be on the 19th. Anyway. What else? You really low-key divine feminine love this person, but there's a part of you that really like d dislikes them. You know? And yeah, you dislike them because they were shady. They were wearing a mask. They weren't being honest with you. Um, 
ooh, somebody is going through a lot of chaos. There's some five of wands energy. There's some drama. Somebody had a mental breakdown here. Either there was some drama, a fight, and somebody got themselves into a legal situation or a legal matter or something. They may have even suffered some form of financial loss, which is another reason, like I said, why they, they are like out here doing something on the side to earn extra money. Um, somebody here is wearing a mask hat that your divine masculine with your twin was dealing with. Hmm. What's this about? What's this energy about here? Rejection. Left you hanging. No, they feel like you left them hanging and there's been no contact and they feel like rejected and left on red. Or maybe this person left you on red at some point. Somebody acted like they were big, too busy to answer their phone call or they feel like you are too busy and to contact them. Ooh. Somebody's finding somebody's true colors here. If your person had or somebody, yeah, somebody got another kid, somebody's got kids, a baby, something. Pregnancy, the energy of somebody here. They could have been dealing with somebody here who, or this could be their situation, okay? Take it how it resonates. Someone in here got pregnant. Um, they were not answering the phone. They were leaving somebody on red. Somebody was acting like they were somewhere doing something they were not supposed to be doing. This is energy of I'm going to the gym, but I'm not really at the gym. I'm somewhere else messing around with somebody else. Or this was somebody that they were dealing with. Either way, it was all a lie. And somebody got pregnant. Now, for some of y'all, this pregnancy energy. Hold on. Give me one second. I'm going to shuffle again and see what else comes out. For some of y'all, this pregnancy, maybe somebody really was not pregnant or, or they're not the father, okay? Show me more about this pregnancy energy. Show me more about this pregnancy energy. Look at this shit, y'all. Look at this. Phony, trickster, illusions, fairy tale. A lie. AKA a lie. Somebody lied. Feeling like shit. Somebody told a lie, and either somebody is not somebody, you are not the father in my Mori voice. I don't know. I'm just saying. They may have, yeah, ooh, bad news. Somebody may have even gotten bad news and found out about a child. Look at this, what's on the bottom of this family. Bad news. Living in the moment. Truth, discovery, awakening. Divine feminine. Police station. Closing this cycle. I'm telling you, maybe this was you, the, what you went through with them, but I don't feel like that's you. I feel like there's another feminine here. Somebody went to jail. I don't know, but I'm going to tell you this. For some of y'all, this is somebody who they could have been married to here, or this is somebody here who lied and said that they were pregnant, and this person... Um, only reason they asked to marry this person or got married to this person was because this person told them they were pregnant and the baby either turned out not to be theirs or they turned out not to be pregnant at all, okay? That's for some of y'all. For others of you, this person wants to pop the question to you because they still have feelings and they feel like that's what they should have did with you and that's why they over here feeling like shit. Ooh, the tea. Oh, we honey. What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know? Give me a few more cards. Ooh. Somebody's upset with you and they wish that you somebody could have either somebody's so upset with you they wish that you were like, you know what? Uh croaked. 
You know what I'm saying? Somebody could be trying to do love spells on you. I don't know. Um, you definitely, some of y'all definitely have this person block, like I was saying earlier. But um, you're in this queen energy. Confidence. Um, you're securing yourself, like I said. I don't feel like this is you in this drama. This is definitely somebody else. You're focused on your career. You're focused on your stability. You're focused on taking care of your kids. People aren't relying on you. You really don't even have the time to really give a damn about what is going on over here, to be quite honest, is what I'm getting. You're in boss energy, just period. You know, um, someone here may have just recently had a family member pass away. If you didn't recently have a family member passed away, your person recently lost someone in their life very close to them or important to them, and this person wanted to call you and tell you the news, but they can't tell you the news because you're you're you blocked. You blocked them. Okay. All right. Um. Let's see what's new coming in because I know we saw new, right? Let's see what's new coming in. Let me go to a different deck. So can you show me the new energy, please? For the coming in towards Divine Feminine. This new energy. The High Priestess. They could be a Pisces. Somebody with a strong intuition. This could be a tarot reader for a living. Like they could be some form of spiritual practitioner. Um, they could be, you know, very spiritual. Whatever they do could be like for work. I don't like it. spirituality. They had something to do with that with the high priestess and the eight of pentacles. Some of you guys could be tarot readers, right? You know, yeah. Show me about this. Or this is being hidden from you and you don't see it yet, you don't know yet. Um, you may meet this person at work, has something to do with work. Um, somebody is very skilled at who they are here. King of Pentacles, okay? King of Pentacles. This is somebody here who is very career driven, all about their money. They're very, they are good at whatever it is that they do. They're very skilled craftsmen, no matter what they do. They're very meticulous in their work. They care about their name. They care about the legacy that they leave. And they're they're living in abundance because they're I see abundant. They have people working for them too. This person has people working for them. So either they're a leader or they're a business owner. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or Pisces, like I said. They could be an Aquarius here. Um yeah. This person is going to be very, it's going to be a very healing connection. It could be an Aquarius if I didn't say that already here. You know, they wished and prayed for you too. You know what I'm saying? This is definitely somebody you wished and you hoped and you prayed for. They could live at a distance with the world card here. This is like your karma. Oh yeah. Um, They just... This is your good karma is what I was getting ready to say. The ten of the, the world card is here with the five of swords and the nine of wands. I feel like somebody went through some things. They just re, they just closed whatever cycle cycle they just closed out in their past life. Well, maybe in their past life, this lifetime is what I meant. They went through a lot. They went through people using them, abusing them, I feel like. They had to fight for everything that they had or someone here had to, before they made an exit out of an awful, toxic situation. You you know, it's like the, the, the scene from... Um, waiting to exhale. Y'all remember when Angela Bassett um, poured the gasoline on the car and then she lit her cigarette and then she threw it, threw, threw it back and then it blew up the car and it was on fire and then she walked away and she was like, mm, you know, I, I set this motherfucker on fire. Um, and she left her cheating husband. Like, this could have been a situation. Yeah. Somebody, yeah, somebody, I'm telling you, somebody went through something. Ten of Wands, Five of Wands, 
I mean, Ten of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. Wow, this person got it out of the mud. Like, literally, this person got it out of the mud. I'm going to show you this. Yeah, ooh, okay. Thank you, Spirit. This person learns a whole lot through that, through their process, okay? So just know this person is not going to look like what they've been through. We have um, the Death card, right? The Ten of Wands, which is like that awful, burdensome you know, ending. It, it was it was a lot, very burdensome. Maybe even somebody here had problems with this five of pentacles. They um money issues, you know what I'm saying? Somebody may have tried to steal something to take something, but this person overcame that with this chariot energy in the moon. Definitely could be a cancer or have cancer prominent in their chart. But you know, like I said, this person got it out of the mud and they were victorious at the end of the day. They had the last laugh because as you can see this person is coming out of the water and they have their armor on. They got it out the mud. Um, okay. So your person has a lot of strength and I feel like Divine Feminine, so do you. So do you. So that makes you good for each other. Let's get a few more cards and then we'll close out the reading. And let's, show, let's get a couple more energies between you and this person. This new person, please. Show me energy between Divine Feminine and the new person. Oh, okay, well, the sex is going to be great. There's going to be really good, um, really good connection. Uh, a lot of chemistry. The two of you are going to connect mind, body, and soul, and spirit. Um, it's not just going to be about sex, but there is going to be a strong magnetic, electric, electrifying connection. A lot of pleasure between the two of y'all. I just want to say, this person may also be clairvoyant just like you and have spiritual gifts like I was saying, because clarity is here. Um, it, 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 This person, you're going to see them for who they are. They're going to see you for who you are. Um, you're just going to know the both of you are going to be ready for love. The both of you are going to be ready for the same thing. They want the same thing that you want. Um, you know, you understandably have maybe been a little bit guarded or you might be in some guarded energy right now, but you're afraid of being hurt again. And I understand that, but it's time to heal, you know, and I feel like the both of you are like ready for love past life this is your past life soulmate here you guys yeah past life connection beautiful reading all right i love y'all